Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Today I am working on a couple little Valentine decorations. I picked up a lot of stuff at the Dollar Tree when it came out, and I wasn't sure what I was going to do with some of it, so I'm trying to use up the stuff that I have just to make a couple cute little um, decorations for Valentine's Day. I picked up one of these. It was just a plain, you know, like the MDF material. A love sign and it has a jute string on it and they have these little hooks on the back so I went ahead and I painted that red just in the back and then I did all the sides red so you need you know some sort of little brush and then I just used some of this this is old craft smart um, paint and it only took one coat this stuff takes paint really well so I painted that and then I wasn't sure even when I bought this I didn't know what I was going to do with this so I've been thinking about it, and then I saw this cute paper I had in a 12 by 12 paper pad that I got at Michael's. So I'm going to use some of that, and all you're going to do is just put this down, face down your paper, turn your love sign upside down, and then just go around all the edges with a pen or a pencil or something, and then just carefully cut that out. So... I already went ahead and did that. I was trying to save a little time here because these, you know, just to let the paint dry and stuff. But I think everybody kind of gets the idea how to put paint on. So then anyway, I cut that out. And then you end up with your cute little love sign. And that's going to fit on there just like so. So I'm going to use, you could use Mod Podge if you wanted to. I don't know how well that would stick. I've never used that as a glue, but it says you can use it as a glue or a finish. But I picked up some of the tacky glue, and I love Aileen's tacky glue, and I'm going to use that on here with a sponge brush. And actually, I dampen my brush a little bit, um, and then squeeze it out with a paper towel just to, it helps it spread a little bit better. So all I'm going to do is just go around this thing and put a whole bunch of glue and hopefully I can spread it out fast enough here so it won't dry on me. That's my theory. Alright, so we're just going to take this and spread it all over and we've got a hair in it. There we go. And then you can just wipe the edges off. You don't even have to be neat about this. I just want to do it really quick so I can get the paper on there. And I don't want it real thick. I hear the neighbor kids outside playing. I believe they're homeschooled, so it must be recess time. All right, let's get this on here. Just want to make sure I have it on the edge by the edge really good so it doesn't peel up on me. All right, let me thin this out a little bit more. Alright, that should be good. Let me stick it in my water here. And then you're just going to take your piece of paper and hopefully, 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 I'm going to line this up right. Oh, that was pretty easy. And that is it. That's all you got to do for this part. And I'm going to grab a paper towel here. Just wipe these edges off where I got the glue showing here. And if you have a little bit left on there, it really doesn't matter because it dries clear. Just don't want to get it on the outside of my paper too much here, which I just did, but it's all right. All right, I think I got most of that off of there. It wasn't too bad. Now, if you wanted to change this, you could always use a pretty, um, you know, red ribbon or something that you have. Of course, I love to use these little 
gem strips that they have, the self-adhesive gem strips from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to put it around the, the O where the heart is cut out. Because I don't want to make it too, too blingy. I mean, you could add it to others if you wanted to. And I like this stuff because they're all connected and it bends really easy. So you can kind of make a nice shape with it. Oh, their kids are having fun out there. I don't know if you guys can hear them scream. It's like 10 degrees outside. But, you know, kids don't care. The big snowstorm we were supposed to get just kind of turned into like two inches and a whole bunch of sleet and rain, which is fine with me because I didn't have to shovel anything. The next day it pretty much melted. But the kids are out there having a good time in it. Let's see. A couple more in here. Of course, it's not wanting to fit exactly how I want it. Let's see. I think that's good enough. I don't know if I want to add one there or not. Let me see. Yeah, that looks good. All right, we'll add that last little one there. They're a little jammed together at the top, but it's fine. So there, that is it for this little project. And I am just going to go hang that up in my living room. And I want to do something with this little vase that I had that I didn't know what I wanted to do either because I will show you my dilemma here. They have these really pretty hearts on them. So I was going to put maybe some red gems in there, but then it makes the red hearts disappear. And then I thought maybe of putting like a piece of white paper in there, and then you can't see the little white hearts disappear. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a piece of cardstock, just your 8x11 cardstock, and cut it to, you know, about the right size here. And I'm just going to use this as like a little insert in here. Put it in there and get it the size I want it. And there's a little piece of tape on the top here. You're not going to see this once you get your flowers in there. I just couldn't figure a way to make this look really pretty. And if you just put the flowers in, then all you see is stems and you kind of really don't even see the hearts anymore. So I thought that would work. A little pink. It shows off the white yet and the little red. And then, of course, we need a little bling on this. Let me make sure my paper's sticking here good on my little love sign. There we go. So I got some of the diamond wrap from the Dollar Tree. This is just the, um, it just has, what, three rows of um, the diamonds on it. It's on this little webby stuff. And there's nine feet on these rolls. And these are usually in the floral department if you're lucky enough to find them. Sometimes they have a ton of them, sometimes you can't find them for months. But, so I cut out two rows, or two of these, you know, the length around, so it'll go around my vase, and I'm going to hot glue one row to the top. Oh, and the other thing you need to do with this stuff, too, is it has these little things that stick up on the edges, and it looks so much neater if you just take the time just to trim those off. And I thought I got most of them off, but I missed a few. So anyway, I'm going to put one down here around the bottom. And I'm going to use my table here as my guide. Like I said, these are just a couple quick, easy Valentine decorations to do. And they always have like these pretty vases and things at the Dollar Tree. Even if you can't find the one with the hearts, you could always put some, you know, paper like the paper I used on the love sign and, and roll that up at just on a regular vase and put that inside and you'll have a Valentine vase. Cut 
cut this off here. It's a little bit too long. All right, come on, get in between there. There we go. Just glue my end down here. There, that went together pretty good. You can't really see where it meets. Well, if I had it even, you couldn't see where it meets. There we go. All right, and then I'm just going to put another row right around the top here. And there's like a little lip there. You, you'll see it. I don't know if you can see it on camera, that you can use for like a guide to go around the top nice and straight. Hopefully. That's my hope. <clears throat> I hope they get some of the pretty color of this diamond wrap in for Easter and stuff because I really don't have any of those colors anymore. I used those all up and I haven't really seen them since I think I glue all over my fingers. I haven't seen them since last year. But they did have the red and they had green and I forget what other colors they had. I think purple. I really don't use a lot of purple. Oops, I shouldn't have glued that one. It's got to come off. There. Let me turn my paper so that seems in the back too. So that is what I'm doing with my little vase here. And then I have um, just some flowers I had left over actually. Some of them don't even have them all on here, but I put three bunches together. There's some rosebuds and some open roses, and then they had these cute little heart things. I think I had a couple more of these on here, but I already used them for something else. So I wanted to use these up, and I just taped them all together once I got them to the height that I wanted to with a little floral tape. And then I bent up the bottoms. I didn't even, these are really a pain to try to cut off because they're really thick and I just don't have the oomph. So I just bend them up and it also kind of holds them together a little bit better. So there, that is what, I'll get my paper back in there, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to go set this up so you guys can see it better. I'm going to hang up my cute little sign here and we'll see how our little decorations look all set up. Alright everybody, there they are. I think that's so cute. What a simple easy project too. I love simple easy, that's why I figured I would just do these both in one video because it's just so easy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have this out here by my little candle holder that I made a couple weeks ago. And I actually put a flameless candle on there. It's out here by my birds as you can hear. And then this one I actually made for Christmas with Dollar Tree items. And I just took off the um, Christmas ring that I had around the bottom and it works perfect for Valentine's Day. So that is it guys for my project for today. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day everybody.